Okay, friends. So let's talk about Google Keep. Now I've used Google Keep for years. I love it. It integrates perfectly with your Google Drive, your Gmail, everything Google. And there's an app for your phone. If you have an Apple Watch or Android phone even, there's um, apps for the Keep too. And so it can really help you keep organized and heaven knows we all need that. <laughs> so, okay, so what you're gonna have is um, just basically it's like a canvas of different notes, like sticky notes and stuff like that, which I know for some people they love that, for some people that feels messy and cluttered, but you can organize it and so it doesn't, um, so it's not messy and cluttered. So it really works for like, if you're a very organized OCD personality or if you're kind of like a chaos and clutter is how I roll. So anyway, so you're gonna have all these notes and how you start a note is just right here. You can just start typing um, and this is just keep.google.com um, and it integrates with your Google account. Um, you can start a checklist note, which is like these ones right here. Um, the regular note is like this one. If you're just like typing random ideas, if you it's if it's a to-do list, it's like this one. Um, you can start a note from a drawing. So if you're um, one that you just like to draw, or you have like an iPad, and you want to just write the notes with your pencil, your Apple pencil, or things like that, you can do that. Um, you can also start a note from a picture. Um, you can also start a note from a Google Doc or anything in your Google Drive. So I'm going to flip to my Google Drive real quick and show you. Um, here's my Google Drive. So if I wanted to start a Google Keep note, you're going to have these icons on the side and you can just click it and pop it open. Those icons pop up on Gmail, on Google Calendar, on any of if you're in a Google Doc or a Google Slide. And so you can see maybe I'm in this back to school pack. Um, from Lucky Little Learners and I want to use this um, but I want to add it so I don't forget that I want to use this um, so I want to add it to my Google Keep so you can just go right over here and click this little icon it's just still loading for a second but you can click this little icon and it will attach this file like just tag it kind of thing um, to your note so that you know that's what this note is talking about. So you can just start a note right here and you can see that back to school pack is linked right there. And you can just type a note of like, oh, on the first day of school, maybe this note is like your first day of school plans. Um, first, we're gonna do like slide two, back to school word search on this document. And then you don't have to stay in this, um, on this little sidebar so then we can just click done and it's right here but then if I go back to my keep it's gonna pop up right there too now you can see it doesn't have these cute little icons um, I added those so if you want to add the not icons but headers if you want to add a header it's an image so what I did is I was in PowerPoint and I just typed up some words with that gradient text hack I showed you the other day. And then I just screenshotted, or you can save it as an image. If you just right click, right click on it, you can save it as an image, as a picture. Um, or you can just screenshot that area. And then you can add it right here, this little image button, and find your image and pop it in there just like that. And then if you wanna change the color in the background, you have this little paint palette. These are the only color options. So um, you're a little bit limited there, but it's still more fun than just the white. So you can change the background color right there. And then what else I'm gonna show you is if you want to add a collaborator. So if you wanna add another teacher on your um, note, if this is like team ideas or something, you click this little add collaborator and you just type their email address and you click save. That also works for students. If your students have Google accounts and it's a, a note that you wanna share with a student, you can type their emails here too and add it to their um, email. So that's kind of fun too. If maybe you have like a one of these that's like logins or links or something like that or like your Zoom link, 
and you can just send it in a note to the student and add them. Um, that works too. You can also add a reminder. So you can schedule it to remind you and say at a certain time, at a certain place, at a certain date and time, um, things like that. I love this um, because I always forget things. I remember them at like 10 p.m. when I'm going to bed. So that's really nice too. Um, and then if you don't want it anymore, you can archive it. So it's just out of your way. So that's really nice. To get the little checklists, you're just gonna come here to more and show check boxes and that makes everything a checklist, which is really nice. You can also add labels. So if you have a bunch of notes that are like for students, you can add that label. And now I can go on any of these other notes and add that label for students or you know, if you have a, a label for like that you're sharing with maybe your aid and you know so you can add the label for the aid or you know you can play around with that to so you can you know what labels that you want when you click on the note you can pop it up bigger so you can read it more clearly you can organize these um, if there's like things under checklists under another item you just drag it over or there's a keyboard shortcut like that and Let's see what else I need to show you. Oh, the pin. So if there's some of these notes you wanna always be first, cause what it does is the last edited note is gonna be the show up first on here. But if there's some you wanna keep first, you can just click the little pin and it will show pinned notes up here at the top. So you can keep these ones always there first, which is really nice and they don't all get, just get lost in the mess of, um, you know, ramblings and notes and stuff. And you can also get rid of the check boxes if you decide, okay, this isn't one that I need check boxes, you can get rid of them. And you can also copy to Google Drive. So if you start taking notes, like during, I do this all the time, I start taking notes during like a PD or um, a meeting or something, and my notes, I don't wanna always live in this keep, then you can go to the three dots and copy to Google Docs. And so it will copy everything you typed and over to a Google Docs that you can save in your Google Drive, which is really, really nice. You can delete the note there too. You can add a drawing. So this is really fun. Um, you could share for student-wise, like you could share a note with a student and have them add a drawing showing like their math. This is like a digital whiteboard sort of thing. They, they could show their math thinking um, or something like that to the note. That's kind of fun. And yeah, so another thing I wanted to show you is how it looks on the phone and the watch. So go ahead and keep watching and I'll show you that. The Google Keep on your phone, on the iPhone it looks like this. Um, and I know the app's available for Android, but you can see the notes here. You can see it's syncing right with my computer, what I do right there. Um, you can check things off on your phone. You can search your notes. If you can't remember like, oh, I know I typed somewhere about this, you can switch to a list view. That is just like an endless scroll right there. Um, and then when you're in a note, you can still pin it, you can still add a reminder, you can still archive it, you can still add more information to the note. Um, and also this little plus in the bottom right corner, you can click it and add more um, notes and then you can see here, you can still send it You can with a link. You can still add collaborators. You can still add labels. You can still delete it, all those good things. Um, another thing, if you look way at the bottom of the screen, you can see you can start a checklist, a drawing, or the little speaker. You can do an audio note. So I can just talk as I'm you know, driving or in my classroom while I'm working on things or prepping things, and it will just take everything and write it down for me and I don't even have to stop and get out my computer or my phone to type. And it, re it records both the text and the audio, which is really nice.
One other thing you can do is make copies of notes. So let's say I want to share this with someone, but I also want to have another copy that's my own. So you can make a copy right here. If you want to make a copy of more than one, you can click the little check in the corner and then start selecting. And then up here, you can make a copy of those notes where you can delete all those notes or copy all those notes to Google Docs to multi-select and then just click outside of the notes to get that um, selected separately.